All right, we're gonna show you how to install a fan on an aluminum patio cover on a solid one. So this is a fan beam, and this is what they call a fan cap. It covers the two by six. There's two pieces because this goes beyond the 12 feet. So we'll start by putting the fan beam in. So you can have it to me. I'll film about it. So here's what the top of the cover looks like. I'm going to slide the fan beam all the way into the panel. There it's sitting inside of it. And then what we're going to do is attach it. We're going to hole saw it and attach it. So this is connecting it to the... Uh... Hold on one second. Yeah, you're good. And then he's going to get a screw to go through that hole into the header beam so it can't move. Okay, so come over here and film it up at me. So you can back over here and push you. So now all I'm gonna do is figure out the center. We already did one, so I know it's 81 inches. Double set. And you make a hole on the opposite side of the opposite side. So we have the beam running right inside this channel. So I'm gonna make the hole right next to it. Okay, now we're gonna pull the wire. So now, you, this is a double header beam, but you might have a single. Right now, he's just gonna make a hole in the three by eight so that we can pull the wire to get it to the fan. And we just home run everything to the end of the header beam. And you'll see on this patio, the power is coming from the attic. So that will eventually run over to the end of the header beam. This will be like our junction. So here we go, we got a fish tape, fish tape that's coming up and push it through the header beam. And this is a lot easier to do as you're building, but it can be done after the fact. You just would have to climb up on the flashing or put up wood up along here so you can get across, so you can do all the connection here. Anyways, here comes the wire. A little more. All right. Just pull out what you need. All right. So there's the wire. The one we did down there, you can see there's some recess lights in here too. And if you go above, you see the caps. All right, let's keep going. So now we're just gonna put in another fan. And then you wanna hand up those, uh, now we're gonna do the fan caps. All right, it's shaky. I just didn't want to edit this a thousand times. Just want someone to know how to do this. Do what? That? Tack it on this side. Okay. Here. Hold this real quick. Just to film like. This. So okay, yeah. The next thing is. This is why if you're on the roof, you'd have to push down if you had to crawl across. But in this case, I can do it. Just push down on the fan beam. It's right here. And it caught it. So, and so that screw I just put in right there just caught this fan beam. So now we got everything attached. It's putting on the first part of the fan cap. Now we're putting on the second. So you lift up. And we're gonna slide it underneath the channel. And so it locked in, sorry. Locked all the way in. Here. Jacob's gonna film a little bit. So the next thing is we got fan cap over there with a the seam. So I'm gonna cock the overlap so that there's no leaking. Right. 
And that's done. And then attach that with some more screws. Same thing over here is lift the flashing for the beat of caulking. And then if you were doing this on the roof, you'd probably be standing over there and you'd still have to lift it up and get it all in there, you know? And then uh, last thing is we just attach our attach our beam with I'm gonna edit one thing to the end of this video. It's gonna be just the fan being finished. So, anyways, there's the wire coming out. It runs over to the header beam, and it's all capped. I'm sure, you get the picture by now. All right, I'll add the last part of this video. Good. All right. So here we go. Fan beams in here. Wires in here. You could do. You could have done it at the beginning, but I like to attach this to the beam so it's tight. Put a self tap in. There, now it's attached. Take your bracket, which sometimes you can put a fan box up there if it makes it more comfortable. This makes it a little cleaner. Make sure you're over where the beam will be. Face where it goes. And we got two screws here. We got a number eight with a self tapper and a 14 inch and three quarters. We start off by tapping it twice with these. You can do it a lot of different ways. This is the way we like to do it. And I always like to switch back to the eight and just put in two eights for a good measure. That's it, you got your wire, you got your fan bracket, after you put your fan together, you should be able to figure it out from there. That's it.